Um, I used to draw really ugly star people. And then I would make this the face and that hand and put shoes on him and maybe some hair. And voila, the artist began. Langley, my lovely parents thought I was gonna be a boy and they were gonna name me Langren, which is a family name. Um, and then I just popped out a lady and they changed it to Langley. Fox is my grandma on my father's side made a name. I always say I'm a big fan of Tim Burton, but I feel like there's a kind of a similar sad, eerie element to them with a slight quirkiness. Oh, David Bowie. I was wondering where you went. I think he needs a chair. I think I was gonna make his chair into a tree. This usually is like the notebook that I would just take on trips. These kind of things, I spent, when I'm not looking at something, I just usually start out with an eye and I probably drew half her face and then drew the other half of her face and it just got weirder progressively. That I drew in Paris. That I also drew in Paris. That's with pen. That's another doodle. Those are weird doodles. I did that on a plane. Kitty Stardust. Anyway, I found uh, this picture off the, those two little kids and I thought they were really cute. And like a year went by and I remember I was like, I just decided while I was napping to kill them with an arrow. It's not dark in my mind at all. There's always like ideas of like weird series that I want to do, like little kids doing rebellious acts. I wanted to do a series of people killed by arrows in different ways, like my favorite icons, like David Bowie and I don't know, Mick Jagger. And I wanted to do a series of people crying. I've been fascinated with Native Americans because I'm fascinated with nature, really. That means keeping away evil spirits in Native American. Dot, this was my first tattoo, it's just lines, which was for my mom, dad, and sister. I have dots here, I have dots there, I have a question mark here. This one is with my dad and I, or these both are actually. I drew this for Christmas for my dad, and then I drew this for us, and it has a little Z, because he goes by Zemo, and a little L there. I think that your style kind of like just develops itself. Just with doing it, you kind of begin to see what you're good at, and then it kind of does its own thing which I think you can also see in my drawings. They're just like weirdly technical. I want to kill more people with arrows, splatter blood out, dread their hair, stop making nice things.